Kim Kardashian is known for breaking the internet, whether it's her jaw-dropping fashion styles or a new makeup tutorial or even some lifestyle content, she's a social media maven. But this time, she's trending for something a little bit different. The headlines are saying she's allegedly divorcing from her husband, Kanye West. Our next guest is no stranger to the topic of divorce. He's a high-profile NYC divorce lawyer. Welcome, Drawer Bikel. How are you? Hi, good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing good. So what's the first thing a person should consider when thinking of divorce? Well, the first thing that people need to consider is whether this is going to be an amicable divorce or it's going to be a high conflict divorce. And particularly with Kanye and Kim, um, there's no question that they had premarital agreements uh, that they entered into before the marriage, remember this is her third marriage. She's used to dealing with lawyers. They were a little older when they got married uh, in their 30s. So um, uh, they for sure had premarital agreements and therefore it'll likely not be a high conflict divorce unless of course they fight over the children, but hopefully they won't um, and they'll resolve it amicably. Okay, so let's talk about uh, prenuptials. There's a negative connotation surrounding them. What's the biggest misconception and why are they important if they are at all? Well, um, they're, they're important for people in their second marriage or people that are a little bit older. You know, when you're in your 20s and you fall in love when you're young, I, I'm not sure it's so important to enter into a prenuptial agreement. But when you're a little older, when it's your, um, you know, some for some people, it's their second or third marriage. They have a life, they have assets, they have a career. People like that don't want to fight if there's a divorce. And um, that's when it's a good idea to get a prenuptial agreement. Okay, so how long do divorce uh, last? divorces last in court? Is it a quick process so or it, is it a long time? Yeah, I mean, that's a great question. I mean, it really depends on the level of conflict. If if the parties can learn to get along and to resolve issues amicably, it could be a matter of months. If they're fighting like cats and dogs over every issue, both assets and custody issues, it could go on for years and years. You know, we have clients we've been representing since 2007. So it can last a long time. Wow, that's super long. So you have a book out with a lot of tips. Talk to us about it and where can we find it? Um, well, the book is called The 1% uh, Divorce and it's on Amazon. Um, uh, the, the main tip and the main thing I tell people is that the qualities that make for an easy divorce and an inexpensive divorce are the same qualities that actually make for a good marriage, which is to be kind and to be generous. Try to put your anger and your hurt aside, and you're entitled to those feelings, but if you wanna resolve your divorce amicably without paying the lawyers a lot of money, please do so. You know, proceed in a way where you're generous and you're kind, and you're actually thinking about your spouse first before thinking about yourself. That would lead to an easy and expensive divorce. You know, we hear that uh, divorces bring out the worst in people. Just what are your thoughts on that, you know, being a divorce lawyer and doing this for a living? Yeah, I mean, it's the anger and the pain that drives these cases. Um, people want to win. People want to be seen by the courts as the winner. They want somebody to raise their hand and say, you were right, your spouse did something wrong, you were injured and you deserve something um, as compensation. And unfortunately, it just doesn't work that way. The courts are not designed to claim winners and losers. And you don't leave the divorce process, particularly if it's a litigation, with a feeling of having uh, won anything. It just doesn't work out that way. So. Um, I, I always tell people, try to deal with your anger, you know, in therapy or in other ways, um, but not using your anger, anger to fuel the divorce process. Well, thank you so much uh, for the tips and advice, Gerard. Thank you for joining us here at Bull TV. Thank, thank you so much for having me. Of course.